Delorme Operation A Video Technique We used this approach for the treatment of full thickness rectal prolapse in 20 years old female patient. With no prior history of vaginal delivery. The patient had a Wexner fecal incontinence score of 10. Due to patient's fertility fear, she refused ventral mesh rectopexy. Patient received polyethylene glycol enema on the day of operation. 1 gram second generation cephalosporin and 500 mg metronidazole at the time of the procedure. The procedure was performed with the patient in modified lithotomy position under spinal anesthesia. First injection of adrenalized saline circumferentially. Into the submucosa just above the dentate line to facilitate the dissection. Mucosal stripping using electrocautery was started 1 cm away from the dentate line till the prolapse apex. The underling muscle was then vertically plicated in four quadrants using Vicryl 3.0. Starting at the apex of the dissection and continued down to the distal cut edge of mucosa. These sutures were placed and tagged, then additional sutures were placed in between for a total of 8 to 10 sutures. As they were tied, the muscle was plicated. The excess mucosa was then excised and an interrupted mucosa to mucosa suturing was performed using Vicryl 3.0. An augmented postanal repair was performed, through a 5 cm curvilinear incision. Dissection into the intersphincteric space, up to the upper part of the external anal sphincter and puborectalis muscle, exposing the levator ani muscle and mesorectal fat. Then approximation of the levator ani with proline 2.0.
followed by skin closure. The patient was allowed to start oral intake on the same day of operation and discharged on the second postoperative day. The use of laxatives was recommended for six weeks.